refreshed and recharged Hatch 2021 Entrepreneur Program through the Pacific Business Trust is now open for applications. Hatch is a business readiness and digitally focused program that can help you reach your leadership and entrepreneurial potential. Hatch's unique program has been developed for Pacifica. It's culturally competent and has been revised and developed to help Pacifica react to the changing world. Joining us this morning is CEO of Pacific Business Trust, uh, Belenato Sakalia, uh, Hakata Aluhatu and Maloni. Welcome to the show. Aloni team, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Fantastic. Good to have you on. Hey, um, can we just get into, uh, with regards to our audience that are tuning in, can you give us an overview of Hatch 2021 and its purpose? Okay. Hatch 2021, the focus of it is, um, as you've seen in the material, is a focus on digital. You would have seen a lot of material in the last few months about the importance of digital for people, especially with the impact of this pandemic. And when you look at our Pacific youth, they're big users of digital, whether it's digital content or using digital devices. And so the idea that we had is in revitalizing Hatch, our youth entrepreneurship program, let's use digital as the key theme that can be focused our work around us to bring them to bring them through to enable um yeah to enable programs of support to help them build their businesses um or establish new ones hmm. you know uh, to add to the digital as well as we you know we ever since COVID hit you know me and brian we've been talking about um you know to to our ministers and our leaders in terms of the education right because we feel like there's a massive restructure of education to go towards digital for pacific islanders because as you saw uh, the whole world was zooming while we were out there being essential workers mm. uh, so mm. yeah mm. there's um, now in terms yeah. of the program tell us what's included uh within the, in the hatch 2021 yeah. Well, what we've tried to do with the program for 2021 is um, we've learned from the first two rounds of Hatch, you know, because Hatch as a groundbreaking program was developed by PPT and launched back in 2018. And it's gone through two iterations. And we've learned a lot from those. One of the key things that we've learned is, you know, Hatch isn't about, you know, replicating a university degree. Hatch isn't about, you know, some kind of an, uh, an apprenticeship only type thing. So Hatch is the bringing together of three key things. One, um, you know, a curriculum type approach, but that is a light touch so that it can still be accessible by those that don't have an academic background. Um, second, that it brings together what we call the more practical, our practitioners, our industry leading experts coming in and kind of bringing the real life experiences into the room with our youth. And then the third one is taking them out uh, to industry, taking them out, whether it's Rocket Lab or taking them out to in New Zealand. You know, so so those are the three elements. Um, a bit of structure, a bit of curriculum. Unfortunately, you know, Brian, as, as you know, you know, there does have to be some kind of anchoring, some kind of methodology uh, in, in the way that we undertake all our uh, industries. Um, and second, something to excite them, you know, having pacific people that are exemplars in this digital space, and then field work. So what we've tried to do is um, there's um, to start it off, there's what we call our 12 week intensive program. So the 12 week intensive program, we've partnered up with Deloitte's um, and Deloitte's on a weekly basis will be bringing together those three streams, the curriculum in terms of like what we call the business basics program, because unfortunately, you know, people can get carried away and just think, oh, you know, look at the sexy things, digital this. But at the end of the day, it's still a business. So we've got to start off with what we call our business fundamentals program, you know, teaching people about establishing a business, maintaining a business, um, you know, treating tax as if it's a family member, you know, the payment of tax, looking after the IRD, you know, and so, you know, it, it just make it part of the family, you know, uh, um, accountants, you know, the accountant becomes your best friend, you know, embrace the accountants, you know, again, make that person part of your family also. So we call that our business basics. And then alongside that is our digital, um, 
is, is, is dig- start off with digital basics and then starts to work through the other uh, parts that make um, a digital initiative fundamental. I'll tell you now, IRD and Tax have been a member of my family, uh, uninvited, uh, but they're still there. Uh, <laughs> brother, in, 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 with regard to the program, are there any particular sorts of ideas or concepts, initiatives that you're looking for um, from potential participants? You know, um, the the team, um, when we first started looking at this uh, beginning of this year, I said to the team, we're not going to discriminate. We want to we wanna make this program as accessible to our Pacifica youth in the 18 to 30 range as possible. You know, we want to make it accessible to those that um, have a business, to those that are thinking about something, um, or those that are merely just seeking to, to discover. So, you know, um, we welcome people, irrespective of whether they've got a well-developed idea that they think is going to conquer the world, you know, that they just need some assistance to, you know, to get the basics, to get an e-commerce platform up and running, for example. Um, equally, we welcome those individuals that just have an interest, you know, that just have an interest in, you know, they've been inspired looking at their mother or father that are running operating as a sole trader that they're going I want to be a I want to be a person that works for myself I'm interested in digital if those are the two ideas that they've got then we welcome them you know how it always is you know so uh, what's in it for me and how much will it cost me so with regards to the hatch 2021 program what sort of cost are we looking oh. at for those who want to participate oh well yeah, those types of admin stuff are really important. Well, Hatch is a free program, you know. Um, it doesn't cost you to register. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to participate. Um, um, so it's a it's a free program. Um, you will be, uh, oh, I better not disclose that these are part of the secret things, but, uh, you know, it's a, um, but, yeah, I think people will be pleasantly surprised um, for when they receive their successful application pack about what will be contained in that pack. But I don't want to say any more, you know, because uh, you know, because then I'll need to start acknowledging sponsors. And if I start acknowledging sponsors, then it becomes about the sponsors and not about Hatch and our youth. So, so I, I won't go into that part. But it's going to be free, um, and and also, you know. You know, we also need to acknowledge that our Pacifica youth, um, I know, I know, Brian, when you see that age range of 30, you probably think you're eligible, you know, so it's, uh, um, you know, across that age range, we're going to have people that will have some tough circumstances. They may need some assistance with travel. They may need some assistance with childcare. All of those types of things we will include in our assistance package on a case-by-case basis. So our whole thing is not just about making the program free, but we're also there to assist them on a case-by-case a case basis with any circumstances that will make it challenging for them to attend the course. But now talk, talk to me about the design of the program and the cultural competency aspect because that's something you covered um, when 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 you came on this morning talking about the integration of the cultural competency and how that will help design an outcome for Hatch 2021. Yeah. Gosh, it was, um, uh, I drove my team crazy on this whole design work. Um, We started off um, by um, doing a bit of a a look into the New Zealand um, market and globally um, around these, um, you know, there were a lot of incubators, eh? you know, you you guys have heard incubators. If you've got an idea, you take it to an incubator, you bounce it around with some experts and then you come out of it and, you know, if it's been good, you've got a fully fledged business. So what we did was we wanted to, um, you know, we wanted to investigate um, what's around, um, what works and what doesn't. The second thing that we did was um, we spent time with the two cohorts that have already gone through Hatch previously. What did they love? So, for example, the thing that came back from them was they loved the fact that it wasn't a discriminating program, that we welcomed welcomed all, those that were established businesses and those that just merely had an interest in an area. So they liked that diversity. Um, and more importantly, they like the fact that they could operate together, you know, that collegiality, you know, that real Pacific thing of being all in there together, collaborate, uh, team spirit, all of that stuff. 
Um, and the third thing that came through really, really strongly in the discussions with our youth is um, they don't want it to be all academic. They don't want it to be all in-house, you know, in a classroom. You know, they want a mix. They want a variety. You know, they don't want to be lectured at. You know, they need a bit of that, but they, you know. And then the other thing that came through quite clearly was they want to be inspired by their own. So the design of the program for us was we had to put a lot of time and effort in to get the mix so that we're taking our bits and pieces from what does an incubator do? Um, what does an academic uh, 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 lecture in digital do? Um, business basics. So, so we've kind of taken all of these things, um, bits here, bits there, put it together to configure this program. But then we've put it a, an overlay to make it of what they're going to take to be delivered in a specifically culturally competent manner. Um, and in that latter thing, that's where we've done a lot of co-designed work with our youth. There have been a number of workshops. Um, so we've, you know, we've looked at some of the previous people that have come through. We've brought them back in, bounced us around, redesigned it. And now we've got the final product that we're rolling out for February. Mm. Finally, Bilnato, um, in terms of uh, our listeners that are tuning in and would like to participate and find out more information regarding Hatch 2021, uh, can you share us a little bit more on that? Yes, um, if, uh, for those that are interested, uh, go to the Hatch website. It's www.hatchbiz.co.nz. Hatchbiz is spelt H A T C H B I Z. That's all one word. Um, and that has all the information that you need. Renato Zakalia, the CEO of Pacific Business Trust, and no, not the voice behind Mufasa, but he does have one of a packing right now. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning. Wishing you all the best, brother. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, my law team. Cheers. 20